Hello, our most valued student. My name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the channel that is designed with you in mind. And today, in our career guidance session, I wanted to bring to you three things which can actually cause you to fail. Some time back, I, bring, I brought you a video of the three things that you needed to ensure a good pass, but not everything will always ensure a good pass. Some of the things we do can actually sabotage the pass that we were supposed to get and instead of the pass we're expecting sometimes a fail can be the result so what are the three things that you must be aware of which you must shun which you must avoid at all costs let's start with the first thing which I feel like this one if you can avoid it it can make you pass avoid sleep too much sleep some of you sleep too much remember guys a little slumber and then you find yourself you are out of track too much sleeping especially for those who are in their grade 12 in their grade 11s that is the stage whereby you need to monitor your energy level number one you need to be careful that you get enough sleep enough some of you might ask me what is enough sleep enough sleep is the one that when you wake up you feel refreshed it can be from six hours seven hours eight hours max you cannot sleep nine hours and tell my and tell me that that is my enough sleep it means you are oversleeping so guys don't have too much sleep you are very young to find yourself enjoying sleep you need to sleep for rest look at the kids look at kids look at these babies you know they are always eager to wake up five o'clock they are already awake now the more we grow up the more we age you find yourself even starting to sleep more because of more responsibilities but this is not the time to sleep you need to wake up at night and what and read have a target some of you are, are late sleepers you sleep late you prefer to work uh, when everyone is sleeping you prefer to wake up and uh, you, you actually prefer to stay up late and then some are early uh, they are the morning people what do I mean they wake up early in the morning maybe four o'clock five o'clock when everyone else is sleeping and then they study for example me I wake up early morning but naturally I'm a late sleeper so I prefer that everyone sleeps and when I see that it's quiet now that's when I start recording you guys those videos that's why sometimes when I'm recording the videos I'll tell you apologies um, there is some background noise you might find that there is some disturbances because I get that time to record when everyone else is sleeping guys sleeping must be for what for rejuvenation must be for rest then after that don't oversleep that one trust me it will cause you to fail number two is the cell phone some of you if I say grab your book the moment you have your book in hand uh, you just hold your book in the next 15 minutes already you are dozing you want to sleep why because you are not used to studying but if I give you a phone some of you can go up to 4 o'clock a.m. 4 a.m. with a phone chatting with a friend can you believe it if I can come to you at 2 a.m. while you are so wide awake because the dialogues are interesting and then the group chats are so nice you are so excited and then you are giggling even in the blankets in the middle of the night if I can take up that take 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 that from phone from you and I just give you a book to say read this trust me in the next five minutes you'll be dozing so is the book a lullaby or what you call those you know those songs that makes kids to sleep it's more like a book is like that to you but you must get the habit of saying if a book is in front of me it must also excite me the way a cell phone will do excite me but guys that that doesn't just happen naturally you need to get practice always practice enjoying your books I know studying is painful, it's like the gym. No one likes to study, but just like any other habit, you can create the habit of studying. Each and every day, promise yourself you're gonna open that book, no matter how difficult it is, and you're going to open it even if you don't understand anything, but still you're going to open it. Even if your mind is giving you all the excuses, it will tell you, you'll do it tomorrow. Now, just do your phone today, let's chat today so that tomorrow you'll, you'll do double study you know what your brain is doing it is sabotaging it's called self-sabotage today 
You are supposed to wake up and your brain will tell you, no, you know what, we are too tired for this. Why, how about you skip today so that in the next three days, you are going to wake up way early. And guess what? That coming three days, your brain will tell you another excuse and another excuse. So what is your, your brain doing? Your brain is doing self-sabotage. So try to tell the real you to say, brain, shut up. Brain, stop it. Body, shut up. I'm going to wake up and study in spite of it all. So those are the, sec the second thing. So number one, what is it? What did I say? Sleeping. Number two, what is it? You know, it's your cell phone. That phone in your hand, that can't leave your hand. It can become an enemy to you. So use it. I didn't say don't use your phones. Use your phones. They are very important. You need to be social. You need to understand what is around you. But just set up a time to say, I'm in this phone. Put an alarm to say enough. And then study time. You know. And guess what? Your friends are always there online. If you log in, they're always online. If you log out, you log in again, they are always online, ready for you. The moment you say hi, they are answering you within a split second. But guys, you don't want to be that friend who's answering others within a split second. They'll be using you to, to refresh. You know what they'll be doing? They know that you're always there for them. So they'll go and study for one hour. I mean, sometimes I always encourage 24 minutes. For those who are my students, they'll go and study for 24 minutes. Remember, that's why we call it 24 minute lesson. So they'll be using you as their refresher. They will go for 24 minutes, they go and study, and then when they are refreshing, they look in a bit, say, hi friend, what's up? You, you are replying, replying, and then in the next 10 minutes, they are gone. They haven't replied to you, but they are gone. They are gone for it for 24 minutes, and you, you think that maybe they are doing the house chores. They are studying, and you are actually helping them refresh. Don't do that. You need to be the one doing the opposite. Refresh with the other friends, those who are always online, they are there for a reason, but not for your career, for their own reason, okay? Maybe there will be Instagram uh, celebs, who knows? Remember these days there are a lot of careers. What if they are pushing their career and you are pushing it on their behalf? Maybe tomorrow they will have these millions of subscribers and they are YouTubers and everything. You never know. But you, if you know that that's not your career, don't find yourself too much on the social media. That's number two. Number three, that I feel like this one can affect you. I know it's sensitive. It's the friends. The friends, the company you keep. Guys, I believe with my innermost being that you are as good as your company. If you want to rise, you have to think high. If you want to rise, but your friends are here, Unfortunately, you're not going to rise. You have to change friends and look for friends who are also with the same mind of rising. So friends, friends, friends can either make you or they can what? Break you. What am I trying to say? Am I trying to say ditch your friends? No, 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 no. I'm not advocating for that. What I'm trying to say is be careful of the company you keep. And the company you keep can make you or break you. Some of uh, the guys I know today, they never achieved their careers because of the company they started keeping. You know, I can tell, I can tell a student who has changed friends, either positive friends or negative friends, I can tell by the language they are using. If we are a parent listening to this, if you start hearing your child saying a certain type of language that is not used in the house, you must know he changed friends or she changed friends. Why? Because friendship is contagious. You know, you start saying the same words, you start saying the same expressions, you start saying, you know what I mean? If, for example, if you, if you hook up with a friend who likes cursing, you find yourself at home cursing also. Parent, you'll know he's joined this group of friends. And then if you find your child staying up late at night, it means you also change friends and hooked up with friends who are also staying up at night reading. So they are positive friends, they are negative friends, but I'm saying be careful of the company you keep. Because if it's a bad company, unfortunately, you guys are going to lead yourself to self-destruction. So, if you look at these three things and you avoid them, they can actually be the thing that you are going to thank for. Especially when it comes to the end of your studies. Let's say your career in, in overall. You know. By the way, guys, friends, just something about friends that you need to know. 
the friend that you started with in primary, where is that friend? Ask me, the friend I started with in high school, where is that friend? I don't even know where that friend is. You know, in as much as you say, I'm going to stick closer, this guy, I can't do anything without. You know, there are those friends who feel like he is part of my skin. I love this guy with every part of me. Guys, friends, come and go. The moment you guys separate, the moment he chooses or she chooses that university and you go to that university, the chatting, the chats will become less and less and you start meeting new friends, you start meeting new friends, the distance gets more and more and without realizing it, you guys are now so far apart, you can't even have a decent dialogue. It can be even in the same university. But you can't guarantee that that friend you will be in the same class because already your careers are not the same. If it happens that it is that friend whereby you are together at primary, you are together at high school, and you are together at university, well, that is a unique kind of friendship. I would say 1% or 0,0%. It rarely happens. Are you with me, guys? So remember, friendship can make you or break you. So we come to the end of. Uh, sorry, there is a cow in the background. <laughs> when I'm recording this, guys, there is a cow in the background, and I'm like, what if this cow comes after me? I will show you the cow after this. I'm like, why am I sensing that there is someone who's watching me? But it's a cow. But anyway, let me wrap up this video and say, don't forget these three things. They will what break you if you're not careful. Number one, what is it? Too much sleep don't sleep too much guys six hours is still good then on weekend you can take it a little bit more so that you can just rest okay don't sleep wake up to study don't stay up late on social media some of you actually stay up too late you go to class you are tired what time did you sleep you slept at four o'clock and you are on your social media can you believe that so you guys what do you do you sleep early half past seven eight o'clock go to sleep if you are the early sleeper, wake up early in the morning. Four o'clock, you are awake. You've got enough time. Eight hours was already, uh, you did eight hours sleep. Okay. Then the third, the second thing, what did I say? That can cause you to fail. That cell phone. It can be a little devil in your hand, that cell phone. It can make you or break you. It's like money, you know. It's neither evil nor good. So is the cell phone. It's neither evil or good, but it's what you do with it. So that cell phone is the one that you are using to watch this YouTube. It's the one that you're using to grow, it's the one that you're using for better things. But the same cell phone, if you turn it around and you start watching funny stuff, it can actually take you down. So it's a neutral object, but it's you who can um, use it for your good or for destruction. And lastly, the friends, the same thing. The company you keep, it's your choice. Whatever you choose, is you are the one who can determine who you follow or who follows you or who you go with. So guys... Don't forget, at the end of the day, you are answerable only to yourself. It's yourself, you, it's what? It's me, myself, and I. I'm answerable to me, I'm answerable to myself, I'm answerable to I. If I fail, it is me, myself, and I who has failed. If I pass, it's the same way. Yes, family will be happy, friends will be happy, but guess what? In the end of it all, you are the decider of your destiny. So guys, this was just a career guidance I'm bringing in time and again just to motivate you and say, guys, let's push, let's push, let's push. And tomorrow we'll look back and say it was worth it. We have come to the end of our session here on the career guidance. I wanted to show you this cow. Guys, there is this cow. You see it? Let me show you this cow. I saw this guy moving in my background. I thought he was going to come on my back and, <laughs> you know those cows that are violent. So I thought this was one of those violent cows. But anyway, thank you guys. We've come to the end of our lesson.